So with Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker opening up later this year, there's still tons of questions that we have about the film. We don't know what's going on with Kylo Ren, we don't know why the Emperor is back, and we also don't know what are up with those new red Sith Troopers. But now, thanks to making Star Wars, we have some more clues about them and how they actually connect to Palpatine. Apparently these new stormtroopers are going to be hidden away in some sort of a massive fleet in the unknown regions, which in canon we know is somewhere that Palpatine has always had an interest in based on some of the expanded universe content. Apparently there's also going to be a fleet made up of Star Destroyers with planet-destroying weapons similar to the original Death Stars. In the film, Kylo is going to have a device called the Wayfinder, which she uses to find those ships and unlock Palpatine's legacy. But we still don't know how all of this is tying into Palpatine's resurrection and why he's back in the film, and there's also no mention of how the Death Star 2 factors into the plot that we saw in the trailer. So just based off the small tidbits of information, it seems like there was some sort of divide between what Palpatine was interested in and what Supreme Leader Snoke was interested in, and maybe these two might not have actually actually been working for the same goal. Post your thoughts down below, what are your guys' thoughts on this news, and are you interested to see the new Sith Troopers and how they factor into the storyline? I actually am a little bit curious just to see what they're going to do with the new Star Destroyers and the secret fleet that's been hiding out in the unknown regions, and hopefully there's a good explanation as to why they've never been brought up before, and it could all tie back into, you know, the entire saga and what Palpatine was secretly planning behind the scenes. But for more updates on everything Star Wars and pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.